Hello everyone, welcome to the vlog, Len here. Been a long time since I've seen you all, my friends. I miss you all very much. I know a lot of you have been looking for me. Wondering where I went? Well, I didn't know what to say with the elections and everything going on. As you can see, the weight loss has worked well in practically anorexic. But putting that aside, the, the election, it's awful. Can you believe that Donald Trump is the president of the United States? It's awful. I feel so bad for the U.S. people. You know, I knew that there was a drug problem because Donald Trump kept talking about the drug problem of all the drugs coming into the U.S. But I didn't realize that most of the U.S. were on them. I can see why he's mad at Mexico. All these people had to be high. Like nobody sober would have voted for the Greg Orange Beast. Like, no. I don't know what else you could say. You can't really call him an idiot because you, you're to, we're all taught, well, I'm a Canadian, we're taught to be nice to everybody so you can't pick on the handicapped. So we can't pick on old Donnie. I mean, yeah, Hillary was no prize. But I don't think she was insane. And I think that's the problem. Is so many people said, well, I can't vote for Hillary. I, I can't vote for Donald. Eh, let's just get high. So all the high people that didn't vote, and then they had the other people, they were all hopped up on some kind of drug. And they said, let's go vote for Donald Trump. Now I know there's people going to say, well, he didn't win the popular vote. Well, it's pretty hard to win the popular vote when nobody's popular. So it would, Hillary wasn't popular either. So it's just a mess. He's been in office for a week and he's already pretty much alienated everybody. The only funny part of this whole thing is, is the fact that most people think it's great that, that Donald got this wall to be built and Congress and Senate said they're going to give him the $16 billion. Well, let's look at why they're giving him the $16 billion. It's nothing in a trillion dollar deficit and budgets and all this stuff. They have a $16 billion, this jump change. They have it in a slush fund. It's just like everybody else. They're, when you had a little brother or somebody wanted to go away, you gave him a little candy bar, said go play in the corner. That's all they're doing with Donald. They're saying, oh, let's give Donnie his $16 billion. He can go build his wall he talked about. Well, he's working on that. We can go get some real work done. And he's, he's, he's not going to be a problem. We gave him a shiny little toy to play with. So they put little Donnie over there to build the wall. And Donnie says, we're going to make the Mexicans pay for it. I, I think it's great. Because I imagine that Mexico's saying, yeah, for sure, absolutely, Donald, we're going to build that. You build it. Go ahead. And then come and collect it. So Mr. Trump says, I'm going to put 20% surcharge on it or a tax or whatever he wants to call it. Call it the orange wave. I don't really care what he wants to call it. But what's the funny part about that is, is okay, Mexico's just going to add 20% to whatever they sell to get it back. Of course they are. We would do the same thing. So would the U.S. So who's going to pay for it? Those poor buggers in the U.S. The ones, the little guy that all voted for Donald, they want to, they're going to end up paying more for everything they buy because of this 20%. But that's good. Yay. Good job. I'm so proud. We get build your wall. So... He's going to realize pretty quick, or somebody's going to say, well, we can't charge that 20%. I'm sure they already figured that out. So my advice to the Mexican president would be, if he was to sign up and watch my vlog, he'd be welcome. I would say, I would just say to Mr. Trump, here's what we're going to do. We'll pay for your wall. Absolutely. And, but, and when you build it, since we know you're not going to agree to let help Mexicans help build it, which of course, normally that's what the U.S. usually does, is get the Mexicans come in, we can pay them a little bit of money and they'll build it for us. But since it's going to be 100% U.S., they're going to build it with all those U.S. workers using U.S. products, which they'll never find. And But it, let's just say they do. All the Mexican president has to say is, no problem, Donnie, build it. And just like you, when, 
when heaven forbid some of your materials ends up on our side of the border or some of your people get caught coming over to Tijuana, have a little bit of tequila and and we're gonna charge you a little surcharge just for these your workers coming to work. We'll just make it a billion dollars a day. How's that? That's no problem, Donnie. So you build the wall. Because I'm pretty sure in the year it's going to take you to build this wall or two years. I'm sure there's going to be some kind of equipment that somehow ends up stuck in the Mexican, on the other side of the Mexican border. And you pay that billion dollar tax. Now all the Americans and all the people in Donald's going to say, well, listen to this idiot vlogging because I'm never going to pay for that tax that Mexico wants. That's our lesson of the day, my friends. Because guess what? Neither is Mexico's not going to pay for this wall. <laughs> it's great. So anyway, that's all i got to say for today. That's my lesson. I hope everybody does well. I haven't seen you well. Again, as you can see, the anorexic, the dieting continues. We're doing well. I missed you all. To my friends in the States, I'd send you a thank you card. But I imagine by then it's done, I won't be able to afford a stamp. <laughs> anyway, take care. God love you, and thanks for dropping in. <laughs>